Hello and welcome. The question for today, how do you clean your poker chips? Well, some of them don't need cleaning. Here's a pretty New York, New York chip. And if you look close here, you'll notice that the this is a Paulson, and yet the inlay is not centered. So there you have it. Even the high-end casino chips aren't perfect. So don't expect all of your chips in your set to be perfect. All right, well, I'm not going to clean this one. This one's pretty clean. But how do you clean your chips? I'm curious. Uh, let's grab some filthy ones here. Here's a Bellagio, Planet Hollywood. These are filthy. To me, it's not rocket science. I don't even know why, you know, there's a discussion about it. But with a Paulson, I'm not worried about these inlays coming out because they're embedded into the chip. But with certain other chips, I can see it being a little bit more of an issue. I just get some soapy water. This isn't just a little, little Dixie cup, you know. And all I do, I use cotton. So this is just a cotton cloth. All I do, depending on how dirty they are, and with a, with a, like I said, a pulse, and you can probably just throw it in here. But generally with any chip, I just slightly dab my finger in the soapy water. Then you just, you know, ever so slightly moisten the chip and wipe off all the dirt. Now remember, a lot. it's not just dirt. There'll be all kinds of like um, thumb juice, toe jam, powder from other chips on this. So, you know, don't, uh, don't rush it. Let it, you know, get it a little bit wet and then come back and ever so gently wipe it off. I prefer the cotton cloth with paper towels and stuff. I, mean, I think all too often it just gets, uh, you know, curled up and it wads up and turns into paper mache and gets embedded in all the creases and there's fibers everywhere. So I, you know, I just prefer cotton. I just happen to have some laying around. Uh, I always use cotton for like shoe maintenance, you know, like polishing shoes and stuff. But either way, you can see this, this uh, has cleaned up nicely already without soaking, without, you know, any sort of harsh chemical, just some soap and water and a little elbow grease. These things all uh, do pretty well. I'm going to obviously, you know, wash. you always want to wash your hands after you clean like a casino chip, for example. And I'm, not, I'm not applying tons of pressure. I'm not scrubbing this or anything, but you can see that cleaned up very nicely. I'm going to scrub this New York, New York one right here. This is probably the next, well, this or the Blagio is the next most, most filthy. So we'll see if we can get some of this scum off of here. I can't imagine that casinos ever like clean their chips. I don't imagine there would ever be a need to. I don't know what the average, if you work at a casino and you're in management and you're willing to disclose this information, I would, we would love to hear in the comments what your average life expectancy of a poker chip is, particularly the Paulsons. I've always wondered, you know, what is the expected life of a casino chip? If I had to guess, I would say less than 10 years, but I might be way off on that. So even this, you know, all this gunk seems to be coming off. Slowly, but surely, all this stuff uh, just comes off. When we were at the casinos, I might want to mention this. If you watch all the videos, you'll notice there is, wow, look how filthy that is. You'll notice that there is a lack of pictures of me at table games. And I was thinking about that and I realized I never made, <laughs> table games are a little more exciting than slots. Uh, I never made a conscious effort to take a picture. So, you know, you're sitting at a table, the last thing you're thinking of is, I'm going to take a picture of these chips. Even somebody like me who loves poker chips, you know, I look at them and I examine them, but it never occurs to me, oh, maybe people want to see a picture of what these chips look like on a craps table or a blackjack table or whatever else, you know. There are a couple stubborn spots on here, like right there, having some difficulty with that. But overall, I mean, they clean up nicely. And I mean, you can do this with any Paulson. Like I said, if you have a paper inlay, so for example, if you have a metal insert chip, obviously you don't want to soak your chips. Now, somebody's going to be like, well, they're just Paulsons. You can just drop them in water and you can soak them and they're fine. Yeah, I know, but I'm showing you how it would clean not just a Paulson, but like a variety of chips, right? And so generally you don't want to, especially if it has a paper inlay, you don't want to soak it like that. And like I said, I put a little bit of soap in there 
dish soap, just some normal, you know, dish soap. And if somebody's going to freak out, don't use dish soap, it's a harsh chemical. Yeah, well, you know, to each their own. So you can see it's looking way better than it did previously. And we're going to wrap up with the Bellagio. You guys might be sick of hearing me talk, but I'm just going to keep going. This looks like just gum. You know, don't ever, ever play with poker chips or put them in your mouth or eat after you've handled poker chips in a casino without washing your hands. You, I mean, I've seen people do absolutely disgust things with these, you know, they're rubbing them all over different parts of their body. You can see the powder from that. And so this goes back to the question of, are these lead free? You know, that's, <laughs> that's why people ask because you know, stuff like this, you get that dust all over your fingers, you go eat some food, you know, for your average human being, I doubt that's going to be enough lead to, you know, affect your blood, your, your lead blood levels much, but people want to know, you know, especially if you go back to a restaurant and you have children there, you know, and you're feeding them, you don't, last thing you want to be do, last thing you want is lead on your fingers. Be sure you get the edges, you know, don't want to ignore the edges. And you don't want to do this too much. Like I said, I mean, even with cotton and just soapy water, it does, it can take off some material if you overdo it, you know what I mean? Just scrub it like you're polishing shoes. But if, you know, if you're just gentle, like I'm being here and just cleaning it, get all this stuff off of here. Same with cut cards. Oh my gosh, cut cards are so disgusting. What, when did I use a cut? Was it a blackjack? I can't remember where I used it, but yeah, a cut card. Oh man. People do all sorts of weird things with those cut cards too, you know, drop them down their pants, pat it a few times, rub it around down there and then pull it out. Cause that's lucky, right? Can you imagine <laughs> that's how, you know, can you imagine them doing that with their, like their iPhone, my lucky iPhone, drop it down there, you know, knock it around a little. People have some goofy traditions. doesn't matter if, you know, it's been five years since they've had any luck doing that. They'll still keep right on doing it, you know? The human condition of just being irrational and kind of disgusting. All right, I might, here's nice Caesars. Five, I might scrub this off a little. The Caesars was one of the ones, I had many chips. I didn't, I didn't roll them all into the video. Some of them I didn't even buy just because when I looked at them, I, you know, I always ask to look at the chips. And so like the dealers, you know, will pull a chip out and I'll look at them and I'll just be like, uh, not interested in that. Uh, I saw a ceramic. I forget where I saw it. It was at the Southern end of the strip. I want to say, was it the Luxor? I don't remember, but I saw um, a ceramic chip and I wasn't overly impressed. So I didn't end up buying or er, buying them. I may have bought them, but I cashed them in. Or maybe I just <laughs> busted that game. I don't remember. It's, you know, you know how it is. It's just a blur of flashing lights and smoke filled rooms and good food. So, and it's funny, some more about my childhood smoke. I'm not a smoker. Smoke reminds me of get this Disneyland. That's right. There was a time when we'd stand in Disneyland and the person in front of you would just be token away. And as a little kid, you're looking up at them. And when that cigarette comes down, where is it? It's like six inches in front of your face. And so you try to, you know, as a kid, try to escape. You're like, ah, I'm suffocating. And so that's the smell I associate with Disneyland. How's that for weird childhood memories? There's a psychologist right now telling me, you're going to be a smoker when you're older. Maybe, maybe. I highly doubt it though. I'm not impressed with smoking at all. Now they have the vaporizers. They smell like bananas and stuff. I'm boring you guys to death probably talking about non-poker chip stuff. Anyway, not perfect, but pretty clean. You can see, you know, I didn't take any pictures, but you can see before and after right here on camera. There you have it. Cleaning poker chips. That's how I do it. That's how I clean Paulson's. All right. And I'd be more delicate if I were cleaning something with a paper insert, uh, like a Milano, for example, I would not have dropped it in there 
or um, like a Monte Carlo. I don't have any right here with me, but you know what I'm talking about. And on that note, look at that. I'm going to leave that in the video. On that note, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll be back with more fun and exciting spills and thrills.